Hi, this is Joe Navarro. Welcome back to my channel. So here are some tips on taking care of ourselves, uh, minding for our own security. We should never outsource our own safety. Um, number one is be situationally aware. Always be looking around and just, uh, and it, you don't have to be paranoid in a very friendly way. Just be aware of who's around you and what's uh, going on. Um, number two, put your device away when you're walking towards your car. Uh, thieves, uh, predators are looking for people that they can take advantage of. And if you're on your device, uh, they're more likely to go after you because they know that you are distracted. As you approach your car, be aware of who's around you. Is someone sitting in a car uh, next to you and so forth? Never hesitate to ask management to uh, walk out to you uh, to the car. Uh, most organizations are uh, willing to, uh, to do that. Um, as soon as you get in your car, lock the car, and, uh, and again, be aware of uh, your surroundings. You know, in the old days, we used to say, well, carry your keys in your hand, and that would at least add extra volume if, in case you needed to um, uh, strike someone and so forth. Well, keys nowadays are much different, but what you can do is uh, many keys uh, have a button that will sound the horn in case you are in trouble. And uh, I myself have found myself in, in, in situations where I looked for that uh, because I was a little unsure of what was, uh, what was going on. So never hesitate to, um, to uh, uh, seek help that way by using uh, the horn. At, at intersections, obviously be looking around to uh, make sure that, uh, that you're safe. And when you get home, um, one of the things that I always uh, do, and some of you know this from my books, is as soon as I open that door, um, uh, quickly uh, get inside and, uh, and s uh, smell uh, to see if there's uh, uh, any odor uh, that is not familiar. You would be surprised how uh, many people have uh, found that uh, this has been uh, very useful. Never get into a car and teach your children that no matter what threats are made, uh, they have no social obligation ever to get into a car and that uh, they should uh, resist. Uh, one of the things we used to teach in the FBI was the 75% rule. And the 75% rule was this. 75% of the time, someone even points a, a gun at you. Uh, most of the time, 75% of the time, they're not going to fire it. 75% of the time, if they, um, if they fire, they're not going to hit you. Uh, obviously, distance helps with, with that. And even if you get hit, 75% of the time you will survive. Uh, but the worst thing you can do is uh, to, to get into a, a vehicle. Um, as I said in my book, uh, Dangerous Personalities, you have no social obligation ever to be victimized. And so if locking the door uh, makes you feel safer, if not getting in an elevator because uh, you have a bad feeling about who's in that elevator, I've done it myself, don't ever hesitate. Um, in fact, when speaking about elevators, um, one thing to do, especially if you're in a hotel or in a garage and so forth, when you press that button, don't stand near the door of the, uh, of the elevator. Stand further away so that no one can grab you and pull you in and take you to another floor. And with a little distance, you can also decide, you know what, I don't wanna ride this elevator. So those are some tips from me, keep those in mind. And remember, do not outsource or expect other people to be responsible for your safety. That's your responsibility.